Hello everyone, this is Robert here with a Tech Geek 311 uh, productivity type of video. Sort of what I sh want to show you is how you can be more productive on your iPhone and your Apple Watch. So I'm going to give you guys a brief tutorial on a lot of the apps that I'm currently using. Also some apps that I've owned and I've used before. And it's not going to be more of an extensive on each app. Uh, if you want to see that, just go ahead and click on my annotations above or you can look at the uh, description links that I have below and you can see more details on some of the apps that I'm going to discuss today. So this is pretty much a brief tutorial on each one. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll start off first with Fantastical. And this is one of my favorite uh, calendar apps. I like it for the fact that you can see all your reminders and I also like the fact that if you go in here to one of your events Let's go in down. Actually, we're going to go into an old event. So we'll go back in here. And then you can hold on that event, and you're going to get this thing called Duplicate. And I love that because that makes it so much easier to be able to go into a, a current event, an appointment, whatever, and add it again. So that I love the most. And the next one is Good Task. This one, uh, pretty much, I use daily. It syncs with your reminders as well as you have your calendar events on the bottom. Very easy to add. You just pull down, set in whatever you want to type in there, and put in your details. So very, very good, very fast, easy app to use. I love it, and it works with the reminders app. The next one I have in here, and also Fantastical and Good Task, just to let you guys know, those two are also compatible with the Apple Watch. So those two you can utilize on the Apple Watch as well as on the iPhone. And I have, uh, I have reviews on those, those as well. Now the next one is going to be Timeful. This one I've currently done a review on it because they did kind of mess up the, um, the way it kind of works. So for this one, you have all your calendar events. You go down here on the bottom and they give you the choices of adding your to-dos, your habits, projects, and events, and so forth. So watch my review on, on Timeful if you want to see pretty much how it, uh, how it functions and how it works. So I've shown you guys some tips and tips on there on that one. The next one we're going to do is 24Me. I love the uh, look of this app. I like the way it works. The developers have a little more tweaking and things that they need to work on. So that one uh, will be perfect once they fix a few more items, a few more things. You have your calendars in there. You have your task on the second uh, section here. You have any notes and you have any alarms that you've currently gone through. And here on the side you've got your links, settings, tutorials, and so forth you can add. Watch my, uh, my review on this one, also my Apple Watch review, and you get an idea about what I'm talking about on this one. Okay, now that covers my main four that I have on my home screen. I'm going to go down here to some ones that I use for repeat task. So we're going to go through to do. And this is currently the new one. I have an older video on it. Uh, so if you want to see that, just go ahead and click on the links. This gives you a chance to add in um, events, lots of uh, tasks, projects. You have your separate list here on the bottom. And you have your settings. You tap the little calendar on the bottom. You can switch separate calendar views. If you slide it across to the left, you automatically get your calendar information if you want to see it. Okay, and so that's to do. I use it for a lot of repeats. Then do, this is one I also use for a lot of repeat um, uh, tasks and to do's. And this one is pretty much straightforward. Type in what you want, set the settings. So if you go in here, you type it in, set how you want it to set it, remind you whatever time and so forth and that's pretty much it and it gives you an alert and that's due. The one next to it is called easily due and this one pulls information from your email pulls information from Amazon whatever it is that you have set up in here and it gives you a lot of alerts gives you a lot of uh, like I have Instagram set up in here as well so I get all the Instagram information can go in here and I can set reminders if I need reminders I have my settings in here, so you have a lot of separate settings and things you can do. 
and that's easily do. All right, and then we have Todoist, and I like this one just basically as a to-do app, but I don't use it regularly only because it doesn't integrate with my calendar. That's the only issue, so I don't use it as much. But you can have a lot of collaboration type of to-dos on the bottom, so you can collaborate with different people and so forth. So it also works with the Mac too, uh, and it does have an Apple Watch app. But uh, like I said, it's it's okay. I don't use it on a daily basis like I should. All right, so that covers my to do so far that I have within my phone itself. Now we go in here under the App Store, and I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, we're gonna go in here, and I'll go ahead and type it in. Okay, and so here we have my list of to dos. If they have a the little cloud, that means it's not on my phone. And uh, pretty much in here, go ahead and show you some of the ones like GTAS, for example. I don't have it on here. It works great. I just don't like its uh, concept too much. It does sync well with the Apple Watch, though. Um, but now that my Good Test does works well, that's why I use that one. Uh, to do that one also is for the Apple Watch as well. Uh, and that one that works pretty well. Beja is also a nice one. I just don't like the way you edit the task on that one. And that's currently why it's not on my phone. A lot of these are good to do apps. Uh, I've used many of them. Some of these are kind of outdated that are in here under my list, but some have been updated. Uh, there's a couple others in here. You have to do cloud. That one is also for the Apple Watch. Toodaloo is also in here. And then um, if we go in here, let's type in this one. Okay, and then you have this one here, OmniFocus 2. It's an excellent app. I love the way it looks. I don't like the way the app badge works. They don't have it set up to where the app badge can show you just for today's to-dos. So that's something I don't like. That's the only reason that it's not on my phone. Like I said, the app is fantastic. The app is good. I just don't like the way that it, it works with the app badge. So that there, guys, is how you can be more productive on your iPhone and on your Apple Watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, go ahead and give me that thumbs up like. Uh, give me any comments if you got it. And don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe, you get all my other videos as they come out. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.